For those taking part in Israeli apartheid week and supporting the boycotts, divestment and sanctions movement, activism plays a crucial role in getting their message across to a wider audience. Susan Modaris reports on a recent event that took place in New York that brought together activists to talk about the challenges and the successes of BDS campaigns across the United States. Israeli Apartheid Week, the annual series of academic lectures and rallies against the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and Gaza, is currently underway. The series has been held in February or March around the world since 2005, including here in New York. The aim of IAW is to push forward the analysis of Israel as an apartheid state and to gather support for the international boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign known as BDS, called for by over 170 Palestinian civil society organizations back in 2005. Supporters say that it garners grassroots non-violent resistance to Israeli policies, notably against the Palestinians. A BDS event co-sponsored by Jewish Voice for Peace and weaving the fabric of diversity was held in Brooklyn, New York. You know, that has got us a lot of attention, international attention, and um, it's basically helping us to get, so our purpose is to spread awareness and to get people to, um, you know, join and then lear learn about um, the issue and then also then become active um, in Palestine solidarity work. And we've gotten a lot of help from this high opposition because it gets people interested. The United States is no stranger to boycotts from the famed Montgomery bus boycott to fight for African-American rights. The great boycott to achieve farm workers' rights, boycott and divestment from South Africa to help end apartheid to the more recent boycott of Arizona to protest the anti-immigration laws. Many believe Americans have recognized the ability to shape decision-making by having their voices heard. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must know, learn, people must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. That's a quote by Nelson Mandela, and I am a Jew who must say no to apartheid, occupation, checkpoints, stolen land, racism, and a desire for a Jewish state only obtained through the suffering and blood of Palestinians. Our movement is not advocating for our own ethnicities above others. We want equal rights and justice for the others, for ourselves, for everyone. Our movement includes Jews and non-Jews from across every spectrum. Panelists talked about the challenges and successes of the boycott, divestment and sanctions campaigns, not only in New York, but around the United States. South African uh, National Congress uh, used the tactic. Um, and so there isn't anything unusual or particular about the character of Israel or the character of this struggle. Palestinian leadership came to embrace this uh, as a way to pursue the struggle uh, because other things had not worked. And this is something that was internationally recognized. BDS appeals to universal norms of human rights and international law. It targets Israeli institutions, not Israelis as people. It is a democratic and inclusive strategy. Anybody can engage in it. Uh, internationals, Jews can participate. The movement says it makes three simple demands, an end to the military occupation of Palestinian lands, equal rights for Palestinian citizens of Israel, and implementation of the internationally recognized right of Palestinian refugees to return to their home and their land. The situation in Israel today is not exactly identical to what it was in South Africa. That doesn't mean that it's not a case of apartheid. I mean, when I always speak of genocide, there have not been two episodes, two incidents, two uh, phenomena of uh, genocide that are ab absolutely identical throughout history. I mean, we are basically at this point, we are in the mainstream consciousness. Uh, despite the, the blackout, the censorship, the fight, and in fact, the more we're winning, 
the harsher the, the censorship, the silencing, the propaganda, and all of that, it's because we are winning. You know, as Gandhi said, at first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. They're fighting us. <laughs> Panelists say that their call for BDS is year-round and not significant to this particular week. For Reporters File, I'm Susan Madaris in New York.